Nike is defending its women's Olympic track and field uniforms. Images were released last week, and criticism pretty much started immediately. You take a look, see what you think. The new uniforms have a very high-cut bikini line that critics call skimpy, revealing, even sexist. The functionality has also been called into question with many athletes speaking out that these uniforms are a costume and they are not appropriate for the Olympic stage. We can all have an opinion, but let's bring in a professional track and field athlete, as well as a former 2016 steeplechase Olympian. I'm talking about Colleen Quigley. Colleen, so great to see you. Thank you so much from your, for your time here. So these pictures yeah, are out. Yeah, thanks for having me. I'm coming straight Yeah, and practice. I love that you're on a track there. <laughs> All right, Colleen, these pictures are out. What was your, before we get into the weeds on this, what was your initial reaction to seeing the women's outfits, especially side by side with the men's? Yeah, I mean, initially just kind of shocked. Um, I think a lot of people were like, wait, is this a joke? Because sometimes, you know, um, spoof things get, get sent out there and maybe we were like, oh, this is, maybe it's a joke. Uh, but it became, you know, it was real. It became obvious that that was real really quickly. Um, and so just surprised, I think, a lot higher cut than I've ever seen that uniform um, be made before. Um, and just so everyone knows, there are a lot of options. So when you go to team processing, they have different uniform options. They have like a two-piece option. They have like a briefs option, some loose shorts. Um, but this is obviously the one-piece option Is has this high bikini line cut. And I think a lot of people were just surprised and immediately said, well, there's no way this is functional. There's no way this is like a performance advantage to have, you know, this cut. So what is the reason here? Right. Um, and it's, yeah, definitely a little concerning. And if we can see the picture again, because it's not only that, that it's high cut, I mean, when you look at the actual outfit, I don't know if we can drop the banner there. I mean, it's very thin. So it leaves room for a lot of things uh, to potentially <laughs> to fall out, wrong. I guess, uh, you know, for lack of a better, or maybe yes. be revealed is probably the better way to put that. Uh, yeah, one of my teammates, Tara uh, Woodle Davis, is a long jumper, and she was just thinking about jumping into a sand pit wearing this one piece and the, the mishaps that might, you know, uh, right. that might happen in that process are, you know, you don't want to, here's the thing, you don't want to be thinking about your uniform while you're competing at the Olympic Games. You just want to be focused on the sport that you're doing. It's really, obviously, really hard. And for track and field, um, the Olympic Games are everything for us. We don't have a Super Bowl or, you know, anything. Like, it's the Olympics, and it's every four years, and it's everything for us. And the last thing you want to be doing is, like, picking a wedgie or, like, like you know, adjusting your uniform while you're, like, on the starting line or in the middle of your warm-up, and you're, like, picking things, it's distracting. Um, and it just feels like if you've made it to the Olympics, if you're at the top of your sport, like you deserve a uniform that fits you perfectly, um, that performs for you, and it makes you feel confident um, when you are out there representing our country. And Colin, you're absolutely right. Because again, you know, we're, we're kind of, you know, going at this in, in a lighthearted manner, but it is very serious. This is, yeah. you know, a huge yeah. stage. This is the ultimate, you know, test of abilities. And, and you don't want to be self-conscious or you're worried about, you know, totally. some type of wardrobe malfunction. Do you think there'll be any changes based on feedback? Yeah, um, well, initially, I originally was just like, you know what, this is crazy. Um, I'm sponsored by Lululemon, and um, when I compete during the season, I, I wear a Lululemon uniform. And the way that we went about making uniforms, um, making my uniform, is I got measured by the team. They sent me a prototype. It's like a one-piece similar kind of thing to this. Um, they sent me a prototype. I got to say, you know what, like, it actually is a little bit too loose around the leg, the leg opening. I, you know, I don't have a big booty. I need to like have this trimmed up here and this tailored here. And so they went back and they edited it and they sent me back a final version that fits me perfectly. Um, and so my initial thought was like, oh my gosh, when I go through team processing, I've made, I've qualified for Team USA five times. And so every time you go through team processing and you get to try in the uniform and like pick out which ones you want to compete in but they don't have a tailor there. They don't have, we have, you know, the option to um, make a hemline different or, you know, make something tighter here or looser there. And it just feels like an obvious like miss that of course we should have our uniforms tailored to our body, especially in a sport like track and field. Right. We have runners, 
or sorry, you have uh, sprinters, you have distance runners, you have throwers and jumpers. I mean, the body types are vast. So and different, right? And you're right. I mean, I think a lot of people would yeah, assume so that these tailored. are tailored. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.